Hello everybody and welcome to this playthrough for Expert Division with the tournament win for the Chateau Lavand and Spring Major Tournament here in Golf Clash the game. Video sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic. Make sure that you do hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. You can get ultimate tournament guides for Expert Division or for Pro and Master Division as well by going to patreon.com slash golf clash Tommy. Link directly in the description down below. Low. Follow the info box on the right hand side for the club distance adjustment, elevation adjustment, also what ball and club type I suggest you to play with. Have in mind that I do, you know, you don't have to follow what I do suggest, but there is always a plan behind it. There is plenty of drops in this playthrough to watch, and I hope you are going to enjoy it. Let me know if there is any questions through support at golfclashtommy.com or by, you know, sending a comment to the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching, and let's go to hole number one. For hole number one, we do have some headwind. And this is going to be a tough drive. We need to be very, very cautious from not hitting a bad great right. We're using three bars of left spin, six bars of top spin, aiming for the ball guide line to go center down the fairway. Starting at the plus 10 yard mark with Apocalypse level 5 plus. If you do play with Apocalypse level 4, you need to start at absolute max. Adjust maximum distance plus 10 and you can see that I go one and a half ring into overpower and I will apply the double. So I will play three rings of overpower and I think that is a very easy rule to remember that the amount of rings that you do go into overpower, you're going to double that and that is the amount of overpower you're going to use. Left side of the ball, just outside the adjustment ring to the left. And make sure to hit perfect, because if you do hit a great right, you can see how close I am to the rough. And if I would be hitting a, a worse great right than what I did, which we can do, then I would 100% be into the rough. Not to say that you will lose the birdie by going into the rough, but you will lose a good opportunity for an eagle. Second shot, if you fall short, very important, then you play from minimum distance line with your short arm. And that is what I'm going to show you now. If you do get the rollout like we did get there in the, in, in the drive, in the drive video, then we shall play with a wedge. And we're going to talk about that as well uh, after this shot here. Add spin, so the ball guideline go just through the hole. Rest at the minimum distance line with your short iron. And when we do play uh, from min line here, you can see the spot where in between the rough lines there at the, at the top, we play minimum distance with a 15% over adjustment, and we make sure that we do pull over the bullseye. 2.1 rings is what I'm adjusting here, and then we're going to try to hit perfect. Perfect ball, nicely, and you can see here, this one drops right at pin for a beautiful eagle on hold number one with the short iron. But, we're gonna take a look at what to do with the wedge. So, we're going to change here, we're going to change the elevation and club distance most definitely. So, we're gonna remove the min distance, we're gonna remove the 15%, and we're going to make that 25 instead. And we're going to go and change the club to an endbringer, or for that matter, a uh, rapier is a possibility to do so. So let's take a look at the wedge and what to do. Because when we do when we do play with a wedge, we do need to go with more elevation. And now we do have a wedge. You can see here we're very close to maximum distance. Max distance is just above the fringe. So I will go ahead and play this one max plus 25 in terms of elevation. I will be using a little bit of top spin. I will be using a little bit of left spin. And the main, the main thing by using left spin is to align the ball guideline with the wind. So we do align the ball guideline with the wind, letting the ball guideline go to the hole, and then we shall adjust maximum distance with a twenty-five percent over adjustment with the end ring at level six. Do adjust the nine and a half rings that I'm supposed to do, or like 9.4, and then we shall hit perfect. Unfortunately, I don't do that. I hit a pretty bad great right in this uh, case, and that great right will make me miss. Obviously, a perfect would have been dropping, and this is just a way to display the wedge towards the pin. So here you have hole number one covered from every ounce of the um, situation that can happen either a short iron from minimum distance or you play a wedge from pretty much maximum distance of your club here on hole number one Ooh. 
hole number two and here we're going to play with a special ball and we're going to go for a rough bump the rough bump is absolutely the best way to play this hole and will bring us some nice hole in ones 2.2 bars of top spin one bar side spin to the right you can see that i'm using the top left of the yellow ring by the rough line ball guideline to the hole very important to not to not be through the hole because we don't want to come in too hot obviously we don't want it to be short of hole either medium distance plus 10 power three ball settings which is one to one so i play 6.1 rings for 6.1 miles per hour perfect ball is gonna come soon at least it's gonna come now perfect and you will see the ball hits the rough nicely and we do get this ball to roll right that pin for a beautiful hole in one on hole in number two. You can play with different balls here, but I do believe that using a win five ball will definitely increase the chances to replicate this shot over and over again. So nice hole in one on hole number two. Hole number three offers a really good opportunity. First, I was looking to maybe, okay, maybe go left to try to have a straight win for the rough bump for the pin. But I'm going to go on the side that I feel comfortable with where I do have plenty of drops already to go and use as references. I do have the complete white ring into the rough on the left. And that is going to be the same position for Apocalypse 5 combined with 6, obviously. Apocalypse level 7, level 8 shall be going with... In that case, go with the white ring to the left by the rough line to the left, not inside. Apocalypse level 4 is going to have the same position as Apoc 5 and Apoc 6. It's just going to be a bit further back. Adjust max plus 20, push up to max. When it comes to uh, Apocalypse 5 plus, we'll go with three rings of overpower in the highest possible wind here, which is 9.1. I would recommend to add a little bit more if you do have around 7 miles per hour, which is, you know, queen wind, as we call it in Gold of Clash terms. When it comes to playing with Apocalypse level 4, I would recommend to go with 5 rings of overpower to make sure to compensate for the less power. 399 yards is what we are having there, which is perfect. Now, it's Grizzly for the second shot. We do a pin check here with the bullseye, and we have that at plus 5, just above plus 4. Okay, we note that down. Good. So, we do have top of the yellow ring is what we're going to use. No side spin whatsoever. And we're using four bars of top spin here to just have the ball guy line to go slightly through the hole. We just don't want to fall short here. Go through the hole like that. And then when it's time, we're going to adjust. And in this example, I do play medium distance with 15% elevation. Which is, again, for those of you using sliders, 50%. But obviously, if it is medium distance, you don't have to use the slider in this case. But just for the sake of an example, 50% slider... Is what we're using minus 15 percent elevation perfect and we see the ball hits the rough very nicely and we roll and get that one just to swirl in on the left side of the cup which means that we truly just need 0.1 less on that adjustment which would be 48 percent slider instead of the 50 percent slider that we did use so 48 percent slider based on a pin check that is plus five with gri grizzly level eight and that's the same with level seven obviously as it has the same power when it comes to grizzly level nine that would be the same adjustment but it would be at plus two as it has three yards extra in power so have that in mind very good chance in my opinion to get a drop on hole number three Hole number four, and here I would like us to start by using the top of the blue ring to the left and right by the bunker line, and then we look for the second bounce to be just by the corner or just besides the dark green square row. The importance with those three things is that if we're going to be able to replicate this shot on this top part three, we're going to have to do this. So now we're leaving the ball guideline approximately one green square short by using 2.9 uh, backspin, one and a half bar side spin to the left. Now, when we do have just here now, it's very important that you don't do any 1201 because if you do 1201, you will uh, risk going into the bunker directly. 
Maximum distance with a 40% over adjustment is what we're doing and we are adding an 1159 pull angle to our shot. Unfortunately, I do hit a great left, but looking at how this ball is coming in here now, it comes in lovely, it's just that we're coming left side of the cup. There is a very nice and consistent roll coming in from right to left and that is something that we do should that we should be taking advantage of in my opinion so once again we play max plus 40 we make sure that we do have an 1159 pull angle and make sure that we in by any means not using any 1201 whatsoever max plus 40 power three ball numbers to be correct win four ball is suggested you can obviously use a win five ball as well but it's not going to be necessary to do so you can also go with a kingmaker this is by the par three so we're going to play for the chateau lavande in the qualifying round this is the toughest one to drop For hole number 5, I want us to play with the Thor's Hammer if possible, especially if we do have it in level 6 plus. I'm going to, going to explain what to do if we do have uh, less top spin to be used here. We do have the top of the yellow ring to be, you know, close to the rough, but en ending up to be half of the red ring into the rough there at the plus 8 yard mark. Max top spin and as much side spin to the right possible with this drive. Adjustment, maximum distance plus 10. Unfortunately, I do hit a great right. But I would say like this, if you do not have the top spin, uh, top spin that we do have on the Thor's Hammer, I would recommend to move more right. The reason I want you to move more right is because the less top spin we're having, the further away from the minimum distance line with our long iron we are going to be. So that's why we need to move more right as you know we're gonna shoot to the right we need to get closer towards the green but if we make the drive as we're doing there we're gonna be in minimum distance of our club which is definitely a very good thing i would recommend obviously to go with a common short iron like the runner to make sure that we can rest at the minimum distance line this becomes a bit tricky for us as we do have the thorn and it just changes over there all the time Spin to pin with backspin, no side spin whatsoever. And here I would like us to play minimum distance with a 15% over adjustment for, from minimum distance line. You may be wondering what to do if we are not in minimum distance line. Then I would recommend to push up from min distance. I would recommend to push up approximately 10 to 15 rings to find a firm spot or like a more flat spot on the fairway and adjust from there and then base that on obviously a slider percentage in the end. We bounce on the fairway and we get that ball to miss on the left with a great left, which makes sense. A perfect would have been very close uh, or if so dropped uh, for us there. So if we can rest at minimum distance line, that's what we're gonna do. If not, we go rings from min and adjust from there with our Grizzly, trying to attack the pin here in hole number five. For hole and number six, we are going to make a no movement drive using six bars of top spin, two bars of side spin to the right. And this setup is also possible to play with a Titan. Have that in mind because we're only using two bars of side spin to the right. Adjust max plus 10, no push up whatsoever. And we're gonna play with the right side of the ball just outside the adjustment ring to the right in curl and max overpower with slower needle. So we're not gonna push up to max once again. The only Time we shall push up the max is when we play with apocalypse level four if you do uh, play with apocalypse level four you push up six yards after your adjustment to compensate for the less power you have on apocalypse level four compared to apocalypse level five and five plus second shot we're going to play with a 40 percent elevation this is a very tough shot and the reason i'm going to play uh, this shot by bouncing on the fairway and skipping the rough bump completely is that we will be adjusting down into the sand we will also have the bushes in our way if we do adjust uh, when we do adjust sometimes so in the qualifying round it's not worth with that wind angle to take the risk as we do in pro for an example now i'm offsetting the ball guideline left of pin and also having some the three and a half bar backspin to leave the ball guideline approximately two green squares short of pin. Very important to offset to the left of the pin here because we do not want to aim closer to the rough line as we're doing because once again, we don't want to take that big of a risk with this type of wind angle. 
Perfect ball. And the ball bounces nicely on the fairway and the ball comes just left of pin. We're using true distance with a 40% elevation here. So estimate the club distance and use the 40% elevation. Very tough one to drop, but I'm happy that we do have a good opportunity for you this early in the tournament. For hole number seven, it is recommended to play with a power two or a power three wind five ball. 3.8 bars of backspin. We are looking to have the green slash inner ring to be bottom of it by the bunker line with the ball guideline short but pointing to the hole. Once that is done, we shall adjust for a maximum distance with a 25% over adjustment power three ball settings and we are looking to add an 11.59 pull angle. So the thing here with this shot is that we uh, do get ourselves a very good opportunity to get a drop, but it is a technical adjustment, so be very careful when you do adjust. Also make sure that you are centered without any accidental overpower. If you do have some accidental overpower, you risk uh, getting a flyer, which means that you will miss the rough, and roll into the rough on the back. Centered draw uh, bounce into the rough right at pin for a lovely hole in one here on hole and number seven. Can you play with a win four ball or win three ball? Absolutely you can do that. But the stronger wind you have, the more effect the more the wind is going to push the ball in the air. And therefore I do feel that the win five ball is the best, but as a backup, a win four isn't bad. But make sure that you do have power two at minimum when you play with a sniper level 10 if you play with a sniper level 9 you need to go up and play with a power 3 ball just to make sure that you're otherwise gonna go in between clubs if you for some reason play with a sniper level 8 start with a power 4 ball then you make a ball swap in the end because sniper 8 won't have the power enough to get up to that spot if you're playing with a power 2 or a power 3 ball Tough wind on hole number 8 where I'm going to start with the rock level 9. 4 bars of top spin, 3 bars of side spin to the left starting at the plus 10 yard mark. Playing with the rock level 8 you start at plus 11, playing with the rock level 7 you start at absolute max distance. Adjustment is going to be maximum distance with a 25% over adjustment and we're gonna do the max plus 25 and then we shall not go with any curl whatsoever here. The plan here is to get the ball up to around 315 to 320 yards. So we're getting the ball up to 318, which is absolutely perfect. Now, the problem with the second shot is the elevation difference that is going to be based on the different type of um, different type of uh, wind angles here. So we do have a plus two uh, as the back frame chest, uh, check to use. And now it's all about finding the correct, ad correct adjustment here. One bar of the backspin is what I'm using. One setting up my shot, I will be adding some right spin as well because we will over adjust this shot. I do add half a bar of right spin here. I would recommend us to go with one bar of side spin to the right and you will notice that based on the result. So adjustment from here shall be 45% slider uh, with a 10% over adjustment. And you might question that when you see the result, and I will explain why this is still going to be the adjustment here. Perfect, and you will see that we hit the rough as we want to, but we roll short and left. First and foremost, we do need to have that one bar side spin to the right. Second of all, we need to reduce a little bit of backspin, lead to let the ball guideline go through the hole. So I would recommend 0.8 bars of backspin instead. The reason I don't want to change the adjustment is because I do hit the rough where I actually aim, which is going to be easier to keep the adjustment and then change the spin to get the outcome that we're looking for. So go one bar of backspin. Aim for the ball guideline to go through the hole with the top of the yellow ring by the edge of the rough. Once that is done, you change to 0.8 bars of backspin and one bar of side spin to the right. So you do a two step when it comes to the spin. And then you adjust based on the frame check at the back. Plus two equals 45% slider, 10% elevation. Technical, but has to be done on this hole because this wind is not favorable. Uh, in to attacking that pin 
in that way. But if we can just do that two step with the spin, I believe us we're gonna have a fun time on hole eight. Hole number nine, we're going to make a no movement drive here by not touching our target until it's time to take our shot. Six bars of top spin, and I will be using two bars of side spin to the right in the end. So I will be adjusting for maximum distance plus 10, and then we will push up to max. And once again, I will be adding a two bars of side spin to the right in the end here. I thought I was almost confused there for a bit six bars of top spin two bars side spin to the right no curl whatsoever full blast overpower obviously if you do want to play with a power four or power five ball the overpower is not going to be needed as much as we're having here obviously but i do feel it's a good way here to keep the power three ball because we do have a plan or i have a plan for the second shot we get down to 442, which is good. 440 to 450 is perfect, because now we're looking to be in absolute minimum distance of our club with our sniper. Try to look for a, you know, a consistent first bounce, very important. And now, I don't know why I'm actually going with such, uh, so much backspin here for this shot in the end. I think it is a mistake, not think, I know it's a mistake, because the fact is that I we do not have any tailwind here so using uh, the ball guideline to be short like this is going to let us have the ball to go short of pin um one green square to the left of the pin I want us to play minimum distance with a 30% over adjustment here with our sniper and then obviously take our shot once we are done but make sure here now that we do want to use backspin so we do not uh, go short here in line because that is the worst thing we can do we need to get the give the ball a chance to to, <laughs> to drop so backspin is the key there obviously but minimum distance with a 30 percent elevation we play with our sniper here for hole number nine second shot good chance thank you so much everybody for watching this uh, playthrough with several drops here for expert division and qualifying round for the spring major tournament and the chateau lavan the video is sponsored by golf clash and playdemic make sure you get the ultimate tournament guide for expert or for pro and master by going to patreon.com slash golf clash tommy link directly in the description down below also make sure that you hit that like button also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications once again thank you so much for watching and good luck in your gold clash game